someone comes to, to London to see an exhibition at Tate Modern, they've got to find it. The end result is images. In a way, sometimes what we try to do is invisible, and we use symbols that people recognise without recognising. Why on earth would you start drawing little pictures, little cartoon-like images? Um, it seems almost inconceivable that this would be of any use. Wander through the urban environment and you'll see these images everywhere. No one can find the cloakroom, no one can find the loo. A device which almost instantly transfers a great deal of its understanding, its essence, its knowledge, to the viewer. I think we carry around with us uh, systems of understandings. There are all sorts of connections. You look at it and you're like, oh, OK. And often these thoughts aren't, they're conceptual. And going over the decades, you know, it's interesting because if you look now, like the Wi-Fi symbol, I remember when we were first designing a Wi-Fi symbol, it's like, what the hell, what are, what are we going to do? What, you know, there's no, there isn't one. So and we need one now, so we're going to do, do one. And then you sort of see later, actually, maybe you got it sort of, sort of right. Probably about the age of 12, when, when we go into high school, we stop drawing pictures. Well, the chances are that we won't sit and doodle. We won't sit and draw little pictures that mean things to us. And in my view, that's kind of a shame, because if we're visual thinkers, and we are hardwired to think visually, that's a fantastic way of explaining or showing what you're thinking at any one time. from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.